Let's see if you can see me this way. This is going to have to work because I'm in my quiet place, you know? My quiet place where I get to think. These are my deep thoughts for the today on Mother's Day. And first of all, happy Mother's Day to all you mamas. And for those of you who wished me happy Mother's Day on here, I thank you for each and every one of those um, sentiments, especially since I ain't your mama. But uh, it's very flattering to be thought of in a maternal and nurturing sense now. So I thank you. Um, okay, here's what I got. So today, you know, these days, um, I just, uh, I'm especially filled with gratitude today. I have the three most amazing children. And um, I get to be a mom to them and I get to learn. And uh, they always make me really emotional. And so my reflections today, I had these these two, like, Bam! Thoughts. And, and and these are they. And I have a good one and a bad one. So which one do you want first? Mm, the good or the bad? The bad or the good? I'm going to go with... Uh, we're going to give you the bad first, followed by the good, so we can leave on a good note. And then it's more uh, what it was like then and what it's like now. So, um, I, I don't know what made me think about quite a few years ago... Um, the night before Mother's Day, I had gone out partying, and uh, I had been out all night, and I had not got any sleep, and I had drank way too much, and I had snorted way too much cocaine, and um, mm, I mean, uh, I think those are the two big kickers, you know, those are the major players at the party, I'm sure there were others, but <laughs> those are all we need to be concerned about. Anyway, I roll home the next morning, and um, you know, I'm high as a kite, and it's Mother's Day, and my loved ones are trying to be kind and love on me and I'm a belligerent ass ooh well you know I guess I gotta speak freely I should have made a warning at the beginning uh, I'm a belligerent asshole because I'm high out of my gourd only thinking about myself and um, so the gentleman in my life at that time uh, was just trying to sort of salvage things because the Lord knows he didn't know what to do with me who would you know um, and so uh, he thought it would be a nice gift to ha <laughs> have the house cleaned for me um, and probably also get the house cleaned because I probably wasn't doing it, you know, and uh, I wasn't getting shit done. And um, that just uh, infuriated me. And I believe I had a new bottle that I was hiding and I didn't want my bottle compromised. And so uh, I was not having that. And so. I took it upon myself to be like it was my mother's day, you know, it was going to be my mother's day and I was going to do what I wanted and I was going to show you and bam, 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 bam. And so I called a cab and I took my children to the circus and my girls were, um, I'm not sure exactly what age. Uh, anyway, they were in my disgusting care and um, I took them to the circus and then I took them to the movies. And I was in no shape to be in public, let alone um, in charge of two beautiful children. And uh, whew, so I thought about that today. I had drugs on me. I was drinking. And I was in charge of them. And I was in no shape. But, but you know, but for the grace of God, um, everybody was okay in that. Uh, so that's what it was like. And then what it is today, um, we were going to go to the pool and uh, one of my daughters had woke up early with me this morning and we worked out like beasts and we were tired and we were a little bit edgy and everybody needed to eat. And as I was packing things, um, I noticed that she comes over and just her body language is very uh, comforting and um, non-confrontational. I got to get my hand in there. I'm a hand talker. And it's like, it's not really like me talking when you can't see my hand. It's like an entity of its own. <laughs> got to work on that one. Yeah, somehow. Anyway. Um, and uh, so we were, we were all kind of at that point where we needed to get some food and we were going to, we were going to be a little bit snappy with each other if we didn't get it together. And so I just, I noticed that she was being very gentle with the way she approached me and asked me if I needed any help. And, um, and then I was conscious of the fact that I just wanted to snap at her because I just wanted to snap because I was tired and uh, that I needed to exercise restraint because it just it wasn't a proper choice. It wasn't a proper action. And um, I am able to make a choice today. And I just was thinking about that, di that dynamic that each of us is doing our part 
to help the other one not lose it and to help ourselves not lose it on the other. And we're not doing it because anybody told us to. We're doing it because we have to and because our family functions more efficiently like that. And we're blessed to have that dynamic should we choose to um, uphold it and work for it. And that is not, you know, I, I, I guess I'm choosing to share this because that was taught to me. I That is not a natural um, uh, action choice. It's not, I said action choice. It's not, um, it, it wasn't. It wasn't normal by default for me to choose any action, but just to react. So the fact that I choose an action and it's a better one now is, is just a good thing. And I guess my big point about this is it was taught to me. And now by doing it, I to my children, um, I we have this dynamic where we all do it to each other. And it's powerful. It's beautiful. And um, it's just it's a it's a lovely thing because most of us usually, you know, we see someone in by us and our, our we're going to say oh what, is, was that at me was that at me what did I do something to you you know what, what are you thinking I know it's about me and um it's a very loving response to be like let me just back up you know let me just back up from him a little bit and slow down so that uh you know he does she doesn't have to lose her temper and um it's a very loving choice so that's all I got that's like way way long if you chose to watch this whole thing thank you happy mother's day peace